What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so, what what went on last episode? Oh yes, we managed to heal up an Amphi, or an Ampharos, that, you know, was pretty sick. And we managed to beat Yusin, because he wants to be the first one to a, a Suicune. Oh yeah, and we managed to, let's see, I don't know, evolve our Cinder to its final form? Let me check it out, let's see, oh yes, look at that, Cinder looking like a badass, look at that. Cinder, level 37, or 36, I should say. Hmm. Oh, yes, and yeah, we, we, we kind of defeated uh, Jasmine for the mineral badge. You know, it's no biggie. You know, that kind of stuff. So it is finally time to move west over here at Ecrotec City and, uh, you know, explore the world beyond Ecrotec City. You know, that kind of stuff. So let's move on. Let's see. Ah, Mount Mortar is like a maze inside. Be careful. Don't get lost in there. Not going to Mount Mortar, bro. So here we are, Route 42, Route 42, I should say. Not a lot of stuff. You can fish right here, catch some Pokemon, that kind of stuff. And, well, there are three entrances to Mount Mortar that we will be taking later on. And, hello. Huh. Let's cut this thing up. Remember in the last episode how I said that you can actually uh, see Suicune in different locations? Well, there it is. That's one location. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and grab some uh, some apricorns too, you know. Apricorns are always good. They actually did help us out with Pokeballs and stuff. And green apricorns, pretty good stuff right there too. And uh, let's see. What is this? Oh, the yellow apricorn. I think that's for, the, I don't even know, gender ball, love ball, I don't know. Don't really remember... Yeah, I don't really remember the, the types of balls that are made from the apricorns right here, but hey, would you look at this? Found ourselves a super potion. Eh, it's gonna be needed, I guess. And we are gonna be moving on right here. Just a little bit more, and would you, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Nothing right there, but there are Pokemon trainers right here, so... I think it's time to Pokemon battle, not to duel, I guess. So, let's see, let's see, who should go first? Let's go with Kit Thunder because I already know what's gonna happen right here. Let's go. No, I don't want to swim. Right here. Let me demonstrate the power of the Pokemon I caught. Alright. It's all up to you, bruh. Let's go. So, here it is. Fisherman Tuli wants the battle, and he's gonna come out with his Quillfish. Alright, Quillfish. Bring it on. So, here's my Kid Thunder right here. Kid Thunder going with the Thunder Punch. Alrighty. Alrighty. Not looking so strong right now, huh? Definitely not looking so strong. And look at that, Kid Thunder level 31. Good stuff, good stuff. Alrighty, okay, so that's that's pretty much it, right? Fisherman Tully, let's see what you got. Let's see, I want to become a trainer champ. Using the Pokemon I caught, that's the best part of fishing. Hey, you're trying to be the ultimate uh, trainer too. Hey comrades, if I find any more items by the water, I'll give you some. Just give me your number. So this is another man right here that you should... Or another number that you should get, because he will give you a water stone if that's exactly what you're going to be looking for. If I was going for a Poliwhirl or a Poliwag, then yeah, I probably would have been using them. So, here we are, Mount Mortar, Waterfall Cave inside. Yeah, still not going over there. And there are more Pokemon trainers right here, which, you know, I need to battle. Let's go with Relic. Alrighty. So, here we go. Hey! This is... This is my secret place. Get lost. Um, not exactly. Yeah, this is not exactly this the most secretest place ever. Really isn't. Okay, so here we go. Shane wants to battle with us, and he's got himself a new arena. How strong is it? How strong are you? And uh, well, let's go with that shadow ball right here. Yeah. Eat that. And Relic is the first Pokemon to go to level 40, and that's probably because we try to get it to evolve into what it is right now for a while, you know. You guys already know my story. Level 40, so let's go with Cinder right here. Try to get him into level 40, you know, before we even get to the final gym battle right here. And Nidorino, level 16. Hmm. Okay. I know how to do this. Let's go with Dig. Oh uh, yes, I, I'm definitely loving my team right now, especially with all the moves that I've been teaching them. Good, good moves. And there we go. Dig attack. Alrighty. 
Okay. Good day. Experience points up the you know what. So he's like, I should have used the moonstone. I, I got one or two maybe. It's like, you're working on the Pokedex? Wow, you must you must know some pretty rare Pokemon. May I please or may I please see it, please? No. I don't even like you, bro. I really don't. Okay, so let's switch him up right here and uh, you know what? Yeah, let's get let's get him to grow level. Let's go. Here we go. Ah, it's good to be, uh, to be outside. I feel so free. Are you free? Do you feel free? Does it feel free? So, here we go. Benjamin wants to battle us and he's coming out with his Diglett. Okay. I know how to beat Diglets. Now, I may be a little overleveled right here. I could have gone here um, any, at any time to actually just train my Pokemon. But, you know, I wanted to do the more important part, uh, part first, which was the Olivine City thing. And, as you can see, that flame wheel is just destroying people. Yeah. And he's going to come out with a Geodude, so I should give my other Pokemon love. So, let's go with Lucky. Mm-hmm. Okay. Lucky. Let's go with Lucky. Alrighty, Surf Attack. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna love this sound right here. Whipped, desperately whipped. And, uh, well, that was a critical hit. Good critical hit right there. Oh yes, oh yeah, more level speed. Oh, he's coming out with a Doug Trio. Okay, we're gonna stick with Lucky right here. Alrighty. Let's go. And, wow, I did not know that Dugtrio can learn Tri-Attack. That is a new one. All my years. I thought that move could only be learned by two different types of Pokemon, but, of course, Dugtrio. Of course. Alrighty. Oh, almost grew a level. Oh, so close. So, as you can see, we defeated this guy so easily. Okay, so I don't need to talk to him. And let's see, what, is it, what does this say? Route 42, Ecrotech City to Mahogany Town. All right, so we're close, and we're here. Ladies and gentlemen, Mahogany Town, welcome to the, the home of the ninja. Okay, all righty, so let's talk to this guy right here. He's like, are you off to see the Gyarados rampage at the lake? Huh, Gyarados? You don't say. You don't say. Okay. Let's see, while visiting Mahogany Town, try the Rage of Candy Bar. No, thank you. Now, there is a gym right here, and unfortunately, we can't go anywhere in, like inside. And he's like, since you came to this far, take this uh, the time to go sight sightseeing. You should uh, you should head north and check check out the Lake of Rage right now. Okay, alrighty. Um, let's see. Now, if you try to go east of Mahogany Town, you probably you're probably gonna be surprised right here because this guy is like, hi, kid. I see you're going. I see you're new at Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try a yummy Rage Rage candy bar. Right now, it can be yours for just three hundred dollars. Okay, might as well. And like I said, I don't have room for this anymore. Thanks to those apricorns, so I gotta waste the item right here. You know what? Let's use that PP up for. Hmm, okay, I got one. I got I got a person right here. Where are you, relic? Shadow Ball. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. And the repeat of what he says. So yes, 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 yes. Yes, I get it. Yada, yada, yada. And yes, it is mine. Okay, so that's it. Now, if you go right here. Let's talk to this person. I heard that a red Gyarados appeared at the lake. That's odd, since even ordinary Gyarados are rare in that lake. Hmm. And when we talk to this, my favorite radio program, I'd say Pokemon Music. Huh, you don't say. Let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so let's go to the radio po- Whoa! So if you, if you actually go into the radio, go to the very last station right here, you will be hearing this. And this is just an odd, odd message right here. Odd, odd signal or whatever. But let's go to that Pokemon Music. Let's see. Let's see if we can find it. No bonus password. Lucky channel. Pokemon music. Ah, yes, it sounds so peaceful. Sounds very peaceful. Okay, so don't want to hear that anymore. Talk. Go inside right here, and well, yeah. By the sound of the music, it sounds pretty devious right here. So talk to this guy. He's like, <laughs> the experiment worked like a charm. 
Magikarp are, ju are just worthless, but Gyarados are big money makers. Hmm. Okay. Talk to this guy. He's like, welcome. How may I help you? And... Wow. So... This guy right here is selling tiny mushrooms, slowpoke tails, um, pokeballs, potions, and that's... Wow, that's a, that, that is a bad, bad, bad... Uh, yeah, that is a bad, uh, yeah, whatever, I, I, whatever, so th there's, there's something very shady about this, so, I might as well go up north, see what the hoopla is all about, hmm, yeah, let's go up north right here, um, can you find Pokemon right here, yes, you can, you can find different kinds of Pokemon, next, see, talk to this person, only people headed for up to Lake of Rage have been through here lately, wait, what, only, only people headed up the Lake of Rage have been through here. Well, okay, I, I, don't, I didn't understand what he just said right there. Really didn't. So here we are at Route 43, and, uh, well, let's see it. Yeah, this guy just caught us real quick. Okay, so we, we're gonna have to beat this guy right now. So let's go. Let's beat him. Let's go ahead and beat this kid. Make him regret ever challenging us. So he's coming out with his, uh, Sandshrew. Sandshrew! I choose you, Sandshrew, and, uh, well, let's see. Sandshrew, let's go with the Fire Punch. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Critical hit. A lot of these Pokemon are, n well, yeah, you guys get what I'm talking about. They're not that strong right now, but, you know. You know what it is. Shoot. So here comes Sandshrew, or Sandslash. 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 Gonna be beating my Fire Punch, uh, and Fire Punch, uh, defeat ya. Eat it. Level 37. Alrighty, okay, so, enough about that. He's coming out with his Zubat, so let's go straight to Kit Thunder right here. Kit Thunder. Alrighty, Kit Thunder. We can do this. Let's go. I know what you gotta do. Let's go with the Thunder Punch. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay, that's it, and uh, well, that's, well, we defeated Camper, that's pretty cool, that's great. Okay, so there are two ways of getting around here, the long way, which would be going through this grass, this patch of grass right here, and you'll be finding some different kinds of Pokemon, or this way right here, which of course is the trainer, well, you know, all Pokemon, pros and cons, yada yada yada, okay, I probably shouldn't have read that right there, but like I said, this is the easiest way to actually get there, but during this time, if you go inside right here, you're going to be forced to actually pay a toll to get through here. This guy's like, hold it right there, kiddo. The toll is $1,000 to go through. Thank you very much. And as you can see, they just li they literally took $1,000 from my, my pocket. I will remember both of you. I will destroy you both. I'm going to destroy you. I will murder you with my Pokemon. So here we are. Route 43, and there is a little item right here, which is a max either. Wow, I should have. Okay, so. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna pause right here, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to empty out a few things from my bag. See you guys. Okay, so we emptied out of quite a few things, battled a few people, and just one person up there. When I said that it was the long way, oh, I meant it was the long way, because there not only will you be battling Pokemon, but you'll be battling some Pokemon trainers. So, let's grab this now, and here we have the Max Ether, for good use, you know. And, uh, okay, so, like I said, I battled somebody off screen, this guy. He had a lick of tongue, really don't care. Yeah, you can find nine Noctiles here too, guys, look at that. The Noctiles are wild around this area. Pretty cool. Pretty good stuff. Okay, so let's get away from this guy and uh, let's go right ahead and uh, probably should have bought repels. Are you going to Lake Ridge too? Let's play for a little while. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this, Picnicker. She has one Pokemon. Her name is Tiffany. She has a Clefairy. Will she be defeated? I don't know. 
Oh, uh, why do I still have Cinder on my? Oh god. Okay, I completely forgot about him. Okay, I gotta, I gotta switch out my my stronger Pokemon right now. Probably should have done that from the beginning. Alrighty. Alrighty. So that's a good move, and that's a good victory right there. You will be finding a lot of stuff around here, guys. I played too much. Yeah, you played too much, woman. Played too much. Okay, so. Let me switch up my Pokemon right here, and uh, let's go with Teddy. You know, Teddy's neat. He needs loving. He, he needs some loving. He's my teddy bear. And uh, the good thing about it is, is that we did teach our relic cut, so we can go right here and find some of the, the other items that we can find. So, there's another berry, and we found ourselves a bitter berry. Pretty good stuff. Good. Alrighty. Let's... Let's move. Let's move. Okay, so... Don't want to battle anymore. Oh, wow. Probably should have bought Rip Pals. Yeah. Ooh, look at that, Venonat. I think I already captured one, right? Yeah, I did. I already captured a Venonat. Okay, so... I'm getting away from that. And, uh... Let's move on forward right here. And, wow, Rip Pals. You need Rip Pals, guys. Learn from my mistakes. Learn from all my mistakes. Alrighty, okay, okay. Gotta get away from this guy. Alrighty, okay. Away and... Yeah, probably should go down right here. That's probably why I, I should have paid a thousand dollars more. And as you can see, it's just avoiding a whole lot of troll right here. But eventually I'm gonna have to go in there because there's more things to, to find in that area. So let's go ahead and take care of these guys with the battle. And... Uh, well, we got Pokey Emo. His name is Ron, not Ron Swanson. And he's coming out with his Needle King. Oh, wow. Kind of reminds me of my Thrasher, you know. I miss Thrasher. All right, roll out. It's a Rock-type move. Should it win? I don't know. It's a critical hit, but it's not very effective. And, ooh, Double Kick. Double Kick is a... Oh, God. Here we go. Roll out attack. A lot stronger. No. And the guy's gonna continue using that rollout right there. Ooh. Nice damage right there. And I missed. Oh god, oh god. See, that is uh, that is the, the risk of using rollout right now. Especially with a Pokemon that knows a, a fighting type move. So, let's go with that fate attack. Bye bye Nido King. Oh yeah. Didn't like that. No, he didn't. No sorry, Bob. He's like, my Nido King is pretty right on. Okay, all right. I guess he's proud of his Needle King. I gotta switch it up yet again, and uh, let's go with Lucky right here. All right. Mm, okay, we're gonna battle this guy right now. He's like, I love my Pokemon. That's why I started. And when, wait, what? Keep collecting. Oh, okay. Jeez, mispronouncing, misreading all these things. That's yeah, fun stuff right there. Okay. Hey, so his name is Benny. He probably has oh, Slowbro. Okay, alrighty. I don't think Slowbro will beat us, but you know it's gonna be a challenge for our coolest Pokemon ever with Mud Slap. Gonna try and blind this Pokemon right here. Slow Pokemon. It's like a sumo wrestling of, of Slowbros or slow, a Pokemon. All right, here we go again. Mud Slap again. Mud Slap blind you. Shoo. Oh crud. Oh crap, it's not like, it's not like it's gonna like defeat me or anything, but it's just I'm trying to blind it or something. Or probably I should just use it. I should probably use that headbutt now. It's still gonna hit me, either or. Oh wow. Alright, let's go with that headbutt. Quit, I'm gonna try to quit, or I'm gonna try and quit to prolonging it. And let's go again, headbutt. There we go. And would you look at that, level 31 for our cool Pokemon, Lucky. Alrighty. He's like, how could you do this to me? Well, you challenged me, bro. Alrighty, so, I'm gonna switch him up. Let's see. Who else? Okay, Teddy. Talk to Batman. Alright, so, let's move up right here. Uh, what does the sign say? Route 43, Lake of Rage, Mahogany Town. Okay, so I guess... Oh, we're, we're here. We're at the Lake of Rage right now. Um, 
So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to explore the exterior of the Lake of Rage, because there's quite a few things that you can actually find right here. And since I do have a Pokemon that knows cut, you know, it's, it's going to work. So let's go ahead and just explore some more and battle some more people while we're at it, you know. Uh, okay, so I'm not reading his thing. I'm just going to go straight up and battle this guy, because I want to. I really do. I want to battle him. Alrighty. So here we go, Marvin the Fisherman, and he's coming out with his Magikarp. Wow. Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be an easy battle right here. He probably has all Magikarp. He probably called all his Pokemon before these weird things started happening. Probably did. Yeah, he has Magikarps. Oh, he has a Gyarados! Okay, so we're talking. We're, 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 we're actually uh, playing with fire right here. Let's... Oh, wow! Level 10 Gyarados. Hmm. It's probably because of the, 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 the weird stuff that's been going on. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder. One can only wonder, you know what I mean? But you do get a lot of experience points out of that since it's a Gyarados. And my guess is he has two Gyarados and two Magikarps. I could be wrong. Alright, let's go with that wing attack. Let's see. That's, that's a good wing attack. And will he come out with another Gyarados? Yes, he does. Level 15, I think. Alrighty. Let's go with that fly attack again. Come on. You missed, and here we go. Fly attack. Alrighty. Okay. Okay, so that, that was easy, I guess. Hmm. Feel better anyways. Okay, that's good for you. That's good for you, son. What does he have to say? Kurt's Lure Ball is the best for catching hooked Pokemon. It's much more effective than a Ultra Ball. That is true. It has worked for me for quite some time. Hmm. So there's level 10 and level 15 Gyarados. So that must be... That must mean that that signal must be screwing around with the, the Magikarp's evolution. It could be. It's just a guess. I don't know. You, I could be wrong. I mean... How many times has Draven been wrong? Lots of times. And uh, good stuff. We got cut already. Moving on forward. And we're going to be going through a lot of places right here. So get that. That's right. And uh, let's see. Cut through everything. I'm just going to cut through everything and see if we get like all these items. I know that there's a secret house around here somewhere. Oh no, there's an item right here. We found ourselves another elixir, which is good. Good, good. And... Uh, let's see. Could be wrong, but we could go over there and find something else. Alright. Left and right. It's always a choice. Alright, I'm gonna check left and then right, or right and then left, and we got ourselves another item right here. TM43. And what would that... What would that be? Let's see. TM43 is Detect. Okay, I really don't need that move, but it's alright. It's a good move to actually have on one of your Pokemon. And now let's go right here. And yes, there is that secret house. And the repel has worn off. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little I'm gonna have fun. Now if you talk to this gentleman, he's like, you have strayed far. Here, I have met I have meditated. Inside me, a new power has been awakened. Let me share my power with your Pokemon. Take this, child. The TM10, which is hidden power. Now, I do know that there's a lot of mathematics that go into this to get the typing that you need for the hidden power move. And, uh, well, let's see what this guy says. Do you see it? It is hidden power. It draws out the power of Pokemon for attacking. Remember this. It's type and power that depend on the Pokemon using it. So technically, if you were to use Hidden Power with, let's just say, I don't know, a Fire-type Pokemon, depending on, I guess, its stats, you could, that Hidden Power could be, what, an Electric-type move, it could be a Water-type move, a Ground-type move, it could be a lot of things, guys. I don't know the mathematics, I've seen it done on uh, another YouTuber, uh, what's his name, um, you guys ever heard of Psycho Plays? Yes, that guy knows his math, that guy knows how to play this game correctly, especially with the hidden power. I'm pretty sure he uses one of his Pokemon with hidden power right here, but 
Yeah, a lot of mathematics and stuff for hidden power. And what do you want, Alan? Uh, raising your Pokemon properly. Uh, re yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. Really don't care. I am raising my Pokemon. Leave me alone. I should pro. Oh, no. No, he, he gives me stuff. He gives me items. Alrighty. And I believe. No, okay. So, I believe you can find somebody here. One of the weekend pe or weekday people. Yeah, they'll be standing right here. I don't know. Could be wrong. I could be very, very, very wrong. Okay, so I think we're done with this area. Now we just have to go back to the uh, Lake of Rage and stuff. Probably, I don't know. Yeah, let's go back to the Lake of Rage. Lake of Rage. Okay, and we don't have a repel, so that's that's bad. That is bad. We might be attacked by some of these Pokemon. We can take the shortcut to swim. Yeah, attacked by Pokemon. Mostly Noctowl at night. Or different types of Pokemon here, too, like Venonats. Venonats are cool, I think. I don't know. Alrighty, okay. Let's get this going. Escape the fate right here. And, uh... That's another Noctowl. I hope we can catch a, like, shiny Noctowl. I think it is possible to get a Noctowl that is shiny right here, too. Okay, moving on forward, and we are back in the Lake of Rage. Now, there's a, there's a, there's something screwed going around right here. Talk to some of the individuals right here. Did my eyes deceive me? I saw red Gyarados in the lake, but I thought Gyarados were are usually blue. That is true. Now, if you go right here, Fishing Guru's house. This guy will actually, he's, he's real in love with, like, big magic card. But if you talk to him right now, he's like, Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by rampaging Gyarados. The crater filled up with water, rainwater, and the lake was formed. That's the story passed from my grandpa, great-grandpa, great-great-great-grandpa. It used to be that you could catch uh, lively magic card there, but I don't understand what's happening. So if you talk to this old man right here, he's like, the Gyarados are angry. It's a bad omen. So what they're talking about is that for some strange reason, Pokemon are evolving, or Magikarp are evolving instantaneously into Gyarados. And uh, that could explain that trainer with level 10 and 15 Gyarados right here. So I'm gonna check it out right now with just my, you know, my old rod. And no, we got a Magikarp. Okay, alright. So I was thinking... I was thinking differently, I don't know. What if we tried... What if we tried my good rod? Let's see. Let's see the good the, the good rod. No, no, no. That's the wrong one. Good rod right here. Let's see. And we got something. Hmm. What do we got? No, we got Magikarp. Okay, so level 20. Gonna bomb right there. Okay. Um, we're gonna go capture that that red Gyarados. If you if you guys haven't saw, there's a red Gyarados right there. So let's see. I'm gonna switch it up. Um, Kid Thunder right here. Now this could be risky. It could be very risky because it's four times uh. It's four times effective against this Pokemon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save up my game. As you can see, 58 hours into this whole thing. Yeah, 58 hours going into this thing right here. Okay. May the force be with me right here. And here we go, surfing. And... Uh, Gyarados. Oh, dang. And here we have Gyarados and... Whoa! Red Gyarados. So this is the first, the very first uh, shiny Pokemon ever. And, you know, it was actually uh, introduced into this storyline right here. And, uh, well, it's one of the very first that actually started a trend right here. And that is bad. Alrighty, round two. I'm going to change it up with Teddy. Okay, so let's go, let's go right back into this. Okay. Here's a red Gyarados, and... Guayasha! Alrighty! 
Okay, so here we have a red Gyarados, and it is a super shiny Pokemon. Look at that. The very first of its kind. That's why, you know, shiny Pokemon are now very, very important. You know, red Gyarados, one of my favorite Pokemon, because it's red. And I'm going to use this Pokemon right here, Teddy, because, you know, Lick will actually paralyze this Pokemon real quickly. And there's that thrash attack that we don't like. Oh, jeez. Come on. Come on, get that Lick. Paralyzed. Oh, God. Now, now we, we actually have to capture this Pokemon right here because you only get one chance at a red Gyarados. And there we go. Alrighty. You're paralyzed, you're fully paralyzed, and you're going to be confused in just a little bit. So I'm going to have to try and uh, weaken this Pokemon up just a little bit more. Try not to make this guy faint. And wow, he's strong. Alright. Can't use Rollout because it will, it will actually hurt him a lot more. So here we go again with another faint. And... Uh, Huh. Thought it was gonna be confused. Huh. Okay, maybe maybe I just helped it out just a little. And there's that bite attack again. So it's Battle of the Titans right here. Teddy versus the Gyarados. Alrighty. And ooh, close. Okay. Now it's time to try and capture this Pokemon. Now as you can see I have plenty of Pokeballs right here. Fastball. Lure Ball, Heavy Ball, Pokeball, and Great Ball. So I'm going to try the Heavy Ball since Gyarados is kind of heavy. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Stay in there. Yes! Would you look at that, guys? We caught ourselves a Red Gyarados. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, well, in its <laughs> entry, it's only blue. But here we go, Gyarados, the atrocious Pokemon. It appears whenever, it, if ever there is conflict, uh, world conflict, burning down any place it travels through. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. And would you look at that? Yes, I am going to nickname him the one nickname that we all know we love. Yes. Hail Hydra. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hydra 2. <laughs> Hydra 2 is sent to the PC, and after that, you get yourself a red scale, which is very, very rare. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it. Now, once you get back down right here, the red gear does. Oh no. Yeah, he's angry. If you go right here, there is a cape man in front of the sign, and this guy happens to be a very important man to this story. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So the Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the uh, rumors? You're Draven. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Draven. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you, could you help me uh, investigate? I want to say no. I really do, but uh, I kind of have to. Yep, excellent. It seems that the lake's magic cards are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Ma Mahogany is the cause. I'll be waiting for you, Draven. So he flies. Alrighty, okay. So, I've been saying that a lot. I'm very, very sorry, guys gets kind of annoying after a while but yeah we caught ourselves Hydra 2 and uh, well this could mean the change of something else right here because I have been thinking about this for quite some time there might be change in our team I don't know probably because of the f for the sheer fun of it so stay tuned guys let's see what happens in the next episode will we change or will we stay see you guys Alrighty, so I was just playing around. Just a little bit. Okay, so, do you guys remember that red skill that I just got right after capturing Hydra 2? Well, guess what? You can go here to Mr. Pokemon's house, and, you know, he'll just notice it right off the bat right here. He's like, hmm, that scale. What's that? A red Gyarados? That's rare. I, I want it. Draven, would you care to trade it? I can offer this experience share I got from Professor Oak. Well, guess what? I'm going to need that experience here because uh, <laughs> I've been training. I've been grinding for these trainings. Yeah. Life is full of delights. Always new discoveries to be made. 
So sorry for the uh, sorry for the the mistake right there, guys. Yeah, we got a experience chair. Get it right here if you if you need it. I'll be back tomorrow for another episode of Pokemon Crystal. See you guys for reals. Thank <laughs> you.